Okay, so for this makeup tutorial, I'm going to start off with my brows and I'm using the Smashbox Brow Tech Mac Matte <laughs> Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brunette, I believe, and I'm just filling in my brows. I absolutely love this pencil, it's just so easy to just fill in your brows. Um, please mind them though, they are quite messy at the moment. I really need to pluck those stray hairs, but that's just this is what we're dealing with today um i'm also going to, going to clean the underbrow as well the underbrow but just to clean up the edges i'm using the concealer um it's the ultra hd concealer by makeup forever in the shade uh honey i believe and then i'm using the estee lauder brow now volumizing brow tint in the shade dark brunette as well and then as usual, I'm just priming my lids with the same old um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer just to prime my lids and um, use it as a good canvas for my eyeshadow to go onto. And then I'm going to use my MAC Burgundy Times 9 palette and I'm using the shade that I just pointed to as my base colour. And it also, also creates a nice transition colour when you add these shades on top. So here I'm just grabbing the most shimmery shade in the palette and I'm just using this on the inner three quarters of my mobile lid and just packing that on. I felt like with that shadow you need to be more generous with it. It had a bit of trouble going on much pigmented but then the others are just totally fine. And then I'm taking this matte burgundy shade and I'm using this only on the outer corner in a V shape I would say and really blending that in I also did bring it into the crease a bit more as well Next I'm using the NYC liquid eyeliner to create a wing liner and I do have a eyeliner tutorial on my channel if you guys want to check that out. This eyeliner is actually really easy to do your wing liner I feel like it and I just love how black it is and I haven't been using this for a while. Um, it was kind of messy so I did take some concealer to clean up the edges. I do prefer to use a makeup wipe but I didn't have any so this is another option that you could do to make it more sharper. I just took a really flat angled thin brush to just add some concealer right on the edge of it and it just makes it look proper sharp. And then for a uh, uh, moisturiser, gosh, um, I'm using the Garnier Nourish Plus Plus cream for dry to very dry skin and then I am color correcting my mouth area because you guys know I have the pigmentation around there so I'm using the NYX full coverage concealer in orange and then for foundation today I'm going to use my long loved Estee Lauder double wear foundation in the shade to Toasty Toffee and it's actually a lovely match for my skin colour. I used to mix it with henna, but now I just feel like Toasty Toffee is just fine. My skin colour changes so much, it's just so weird. But um, here I'm going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC42. And I love how this is just the right shade lighter, so it highlights my under eye without making it look weirdly white in some way. So... I definitely love this concealer, it's really full coverage and it sits nicely on my skin um, and I did recently get it but I actually really really like it. Just to set that concealer and the rest of my face I'm using Ben Nye Banana Powder. I did do a bit of baking under my eyes. I should start getting other powders because I just feel like I keep using this one but if you guys want a really good powder just get Ben Nye Banana Powder and if you're lighter than me then just get um, the other shades they have available, they have shades for every skin colour. So there's not only banana, there's topaz, there's cameo, I believe. And yeah, there's just a ton for everyone. I also went back with the palette and took the darker shimmery shade in the palette. And I'm using this on my lower lash line. I'm going real up close and smudging it out a bit. And mostly keeping it towards the outer third out of three quarters I mean <laughs> um, and then I decided to just line my waterline with the Rimmel Cold Pencil in Nude these pencils are super super creamy uh, Rimmel lip liners and cold pencils, cold pencils are so so good I 
also just touched up a bit on my uh, eyeshadow just made sure that it was nicely blended and then here I'm curling my lashes and for mascara today I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara in Intense Black it's my favourite mascara if you're new to my channel I absolutely love this mascara so if you have not tried it just give it a go I swear down you will love it um, and then I also did use the MAC Play Lash Mascara on my lower lashes but you can tell I'm not too fond of it, I really don't like it, I'll probably give it to my sister or something because I know I'm not going to use this much, it's just going to sit in my makeup stash so yeah, I thought I'll give it a go but I've just given it, this is like the second time I'm using it and I just don't like it. But now onto bronzer, I'm using the Bobbi Brown bronzer in deep, absolutely love this bronzer, it's so so nice on darker skin and I did decide to take the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep and just put that on top because that's a kind of like a glowy subtle bronzer so I thought I'd put that on top and then for highlighter I'm using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow I didn't uh, show it but you guys can see how lovely this highlighter is it's just so it just makes your skin look so soft and dewy and it just looks like an inner glow and I just love it then to just set my makeup I'm using the NYX Dewy Setting Spray, spraying that all over and then for lips I'm using the Well Lip Liner and then topped it up with Well Lipstick that I recently got and you guys can see it's just a, such a lovely nude burgundy shade, it's got that hint of mauve in it but it's such a wearable shade. But anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what other makeup tutorials you would like to see next. If there's anything you want me to do specific. And thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos if you're new. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.